All right, hello everybody, welcome, welcome. We're gonna go through a 30 minute flow today, building towards eight angle pose, one of my all time favorite poses. So we're gonna do this in kind of three parts. I'm gonna first demo the pose so that you have an idea of where we're heading and I'll break down the steps. Um, then we're gonna run through a flow to kind of warm up, get really invigorated, move all the parts of our body that need to be warm and strong for this posture. Then we're gonna have a little bit at the end where we play around, kind of get into the posture, and then we'll cool down. So, all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and demo the pose right away. So, eight angle pose is a great posture. Um, there's a couple ways to get into it. I'll show today the easiest, um, kind of the best, most accessible way. Um, one of the first things that you're going to do is find a nice cross-legged position. So, one leg is going to be in front. Whatever leg feels most comfortable, definitely start there. And you're going to do this move we call rocking the baby. So you're going to bring the leg up, the shin coming towards the chest, and you can either hold onto the outside of the leg, the ankle flexing the toes and the knee, or wrap the arms underneath the shins. Palms will face you. And just find a little bit of movement, find a little bit of mobility in the hip. Now maybe you stay here and just work on this. Or with your opposite hand, you're going to reach around and grab the outside edge of your foot. And you're going to slowly work the leg on top of the arm, kind of backpacking it up here. The most important thing is that it's above this elbow joint. It doesn't have to be all the way up on the shoulder, just somewhere on the tricep above the elbow. From here, you're going to place this hand down. It's going to be outside a little bit, pretty far, so that when you're bending, you're allowing plenty of mobility in the shoulder. From here, you lean back, release the hand, place the other arm down. Lift the bottom foot and you're going to hook it on top. Really flex the feet so you're pulling the toes back, engaging, grounding through the palms. You're going to lift and engage the core. You're just hugging in here. Maybe you practice that. It's just a lift. Now you can stay there or when you're ready, you're going to lift and at the same time, kick the legs out. You're bending the elbows a little bit more than you think you are. So lift, kick, 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 kick. The elbows bend and then you rotate the top leg down facing the mat. The gaze will come forward if you'd like to gaze at the toes. You're welcome to. Hips are lifted, squeezing the shoulders, and then you lower and release. I'll do that on the other side as well. Just so you can see how it'll look slightly different one side of the body to the other. So again, finding that rock the baby. This ankle is going to want to roll in. Keep it flexed, keep it active. You're encouraging the calf, you're encouraging the thigh to fire here. This is an active posture with the legs. You're squeezing the inner thighs together. Again, grabbing the opposite hand to the outside of the foot, backpacking it up, place the hand down. Maybe stay, or maybe you lean back, you cross the feet, lift, 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 <sighs> breathe out, you kick. The elbows are brushing against the side, so you're bending like chaturanga arms. The feet are kicking out, and this top leg is going to want to spiral up. Spiral it down and squeeze. When you're ready again, exhale to lower and unwind. Whenever you come from an arm balance, just give yourself a nice little wrist stretch. Shake it out, spider grip the hands. I even like to come forward, maybe to forearms, maybe even placing the palms up and just rock the head side to side. All right, now that you have an idea of where we're going, we're going to go ahead and get started taking a quick flow. So meet me on your mat, finding a nice reclined position, kind of like a bridge, except you're going to walk your feet to the outside of the mat and let the knees fall in. Arms will be out to the side, gaze will be up. So take a moment, find yourself on your mat, and close the eyes, letting the gaze fall, bringing your awareness internally. Taking some nice open mouth exhales here. Nothing too prescriptive just yet. Just letting the breath flow where it wants to go. Take a 
take one big exhale and then when you're ready we're gonna go ahead and start with our ujjayi breathing so maybe bringing hands to belly if that helps closing the eyes still you're gonna seal off through the mouth breathing only through the nose and feeling a slight constriction in the back of your throat maybe tucking the chin just slightly to help you're gonna inhale through the nose Feel the breath move down the lungs, expand, expand through the belly. Exhale, the breath comes out, pushing it through the nose, creating an ocean wave sound. Inhale for four, three, two, one, fill up. Exhale just as long, four, three, two, one. Continue this cycle, four counts in, four counts out. Our breath is so critical for arm balances, for inversions, for our entire yoga practice. This is the beat that your body is going to be flowing to in a vinyasa practice. I invite you to come to an intention, maybe a mantra, a word, a phrase that you'd like to focus on for class. Mine today is going to be deep focus, carrying that concept with me throughout this flow. And then when you're ready, take one more inhale. Open up, exhale, you're gonna hug the knees in, wrap the arms around the shins, squeeze forehead to knees, and then hands come behind the legs. Rock and roll a couple times on your mat. And then we come up, cross the legs, shift the hips back. You're finding tabletop. Take some organic movement here. So maybe rocking the hips side to side, starting to open up the IT band. Maybe finding a press in and out of child's pose or just taking traditional cat cows, inhaling for cow pose, dropping the belly, exhaling for cat. This is your body, your movement. So get in the habit here of starting to listen to what your body needs today. It could be different from what it needed earlier today, what it needed yesterday, what it'll need tomorrow. Take one more round of breath. Meet me back in stillness, tabletop. You're gonna flip the left palm up to the ceiling, place the back of the hand down, fingertips point towards your knee. Stay or find a little bit of shift in the hips back. Gentle wrist stretch, come up, steeple grip the fingers, place them down on the mat. The palm is lifted, but the fingers move down. And then release, you shake it out. <sighs> Inhale, still the left arm reaches high, draw it towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle, bring the left arm underneath the right shoulder. The left shoulder comes down to the mat, the left ear turns down. The right palm can stay planted or maybe you walk the arm out in front of you. Hips stay directly over your knees. You continue those deep belly breaths. If the right hand is in front, slowly walk it back. Inhale, open back up, find the gentle twist, and exhale, come back down. Flip the right palm to the ceiling, find a gentle wrist stretch. Maybe you shift the hips back. And then you come forward, steeple grip the fingers, give yourself a gentle release. Inhale, lift the arm, twist the spine over to the right. Exhale, thread the needle, drawing the arm under, keeping the hips square to the mat. Maybe the left hand is planted or maybe it walks in front of you. Every time you exhale, feel the low belly pull up and in, really activating the obliques here in this posture. So the side bodies contract, pushing the air out. 
One more inhale. Exhale, move the hand back if it's extended and inhale, open up, twist to the right. Exhale, you take your tabletop. Now you can stay right here and with the knees planted, shift side to side, opening up the IT bands or tuck the toes. You're gonna lift and hover the knees. The torso is parallel. You're not dipping through the spine, finding strong shoulders. From here, using the strength of the obliques, you're gonna dip the left hip down, twisting the feet. You're hovering center, dip right, center, left, pivoting on the feet. Little bit of a core warm up here. So the belly should be strong. Avoid locking out the elbows. Keep a slight bend. Take one more each side. There's one. The last one on the right. Come back to the center. Hover. The toes are bent. For three, two, one. Exhale, down dog. Straighten the legs. Maybe walk it back. Find a bit of mobility if you need. And then down dog, stillness here. As much of a bend in the knees as you need. The torso is long. Take one deep inhale. One big exhale, claw the fingers to the mat. The hands are strong. Inhale, three like a dog, right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip. Take some hip circles in one direction and take it the other. Inhale, three-legged dog, re-square the hips to the mat. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, round. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Great place to stay. You can always drop this back knee. Maybe coming to a modified plank or stay here for three, two, one. Plant the foot between the hands, find some movement forward and back. Come to stillness, the right knee stacks directly over the right ankle. Inhale, you're going to come up two options, either finding a full crescent or spiraling the back heel down, keeping the hips square warrior one. So crescent heel is lifted, warrior one heel is down in both options. The hips are squaring to the front. <sighs> Holding here, moving towards 90 degrees in that front leg. Inhale, exhale, airplane torso, hinging 45 degrees with the hips, squeezing the elbows back behind you. We hold here. So the torso is long, the spinal erectors are pulling your heart forward. Triceps extending the arms back and then imagining the pink views, trying to touch a little bit behind your back. So everything is moving up, but also in. One more inhale, deep and exhale. Can you lunge a little deeper? Inhale, lift, straighten the front leg. And exhale, you come down finding your lunge, then coming back high plank. You can drop to the knees if you'd like. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows brush against the ribcage. Inhale, upward facing dog. The knees will lift, heart forward, slight bend in the elbows. Exhale, down dog. Walk the hands towards the back of the mat. Hey, Hands will be right in front of your shoulders, as much of a bend as you need. Feet hip width distance or wider for this first fold. Come to stillness if you haven't already. Again, bending the knees, I want you to find contact with the palms directly one long line from your shoulders. You're then going to shift a little bit of weight forward. The gaze is down. So you're looking forward, not behind you, but not arching the neck too much. Just a little bit of weight in the hands. This is an isometric static hold. 
only as challenging as you make it here. So can you shift a little bit of weight more? Push up, puff up the space between your shoulders for three, two, and one. Release the hands, shake it out, inhale, chair pose, sink the hips down, lift. In this chair, your knees are wide, they're directly over the toes. At the same time, I want you to imagine an energetic squeeze together of the thighs. Inhale, exhale, airplane torso, hinge. Inhale, standing mountain, lift the arms. Exhale, baby back bend. Gentle here. Inhale through center. Exhale, fold all the way. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to shins or to thighs, wherever you are. Really actively resisting hands into the legs. Gazes down. We're here for a couple breaths. I want you to feel this elongation out of the hips. So you're pulling the spine forward, creating space in the vertebrae. Shoulders roll down and back. At the same time, imagining that there's a block or something between the biceps, squeezing in, rotating the inner part of the elbow forward just a little. One more inhale. Exhale, release. <sighs> inhale, walk forward, finding your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, three-legged dog. Take the left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through. Find your movement. When you're ready, come to stillness. Exhale your breath. Inhale, rise. Either crescent or warrior one, whatever you did on the other side, replicate that here. With the arms, if they're overhead, notice if they're kind of bowing open, if they're a little relaxed, pull them up. You're energetically rotating the fingers inwards just a little bit. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane torso. Hinge and lift. Notice the back leg, whether you're in crescent or whether you're in warrior. Can you pull the right kneecap up and in? Squeeze the place where your glute meets your hamstring. One more inhale. Deepen, exhale. Inhale, full crescent or warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, step back, take your chaturanga flow. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees. Exhale, walk or float top of your space. Feet will be together this time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you fold. Stay facing forward, I will turn to face you. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Press the hands out to the side as you lift the torso up. And arms overhead. Exhale, baby back bend. <sighs> Inhale, rise. Exhale, chair pose, airplane torso sweep. Inhale, ekapadasana. You lift the right leg high, arms overhead. Keeping a square torso here. 90 degree bend in the leg. Maybe stay or exhale, you're gonna find eagle legs. So crossing the right leg over the left, finding a bend like chair pose. Maybe you kickstand, lift, or wrap twice. I want you to keep the arms overhead here first. Inhale, and then eagle leg airplane torso. So finding that subtle shift, it doesn't have to be a great, and then press the palms back behind you. Inhale, eagle leg arms high. Exhale, eagle chaturanga. So bring the elbows down, brush your sides. Inhale to lift, yes you can. Exhale, eagle chaturanga, squeeze the legs together. This is the pose. Inhale, ekapada. Exhale, chair pose, airplane arm. <sighs> Inhale, lift, ekapada tadasada, left leg high. Hold for a moment. One breath in, 
Exhale, eagle legs. Wrap once, kickstand, or wrap twice. Stay for a moment. You're squeezing the legs together. Imagine you have a sponge or something between your thighs, trying to wring out the water. This is an active pose. The adductors are on fire. Arms are up, inhale. Exhale, airplane torso. It is okay if you wobble here, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga arms. The palms face forward, the elbows brush your sides. Strengthen the biceps, inhale, sweep. Exhale, chaturanga arms. Inhale, ekapada. Exhale, chair pose, airplane, I'll face forward again. Inhale, standing mountain lift. Exhale, baby, back bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga or straight to down dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, you hold. Now maybe you stay or we'll work on an elevator lift. So inhale, hug in. Halfway exhale, you'll lower the leg halfway. Finish the exhale, hover the leg. Inhale, halfway, lift halfway. Inhale all the way up. Lower half, hover, lift half, lift all the way. Half, lower, half, pull in one more, half, hover, half, lift, hold three, two, one, place the foot through, find movement, and then inhale, open up, warrior two, spiral the back, heel down, arms out, inhale, lift and rise, arms up, exhale, press the palms out, and extend, inhale, three dancing warriors, exhale, one more. Exhale. Keep the legs. Inhale. Reverse your warrior side body length here. And exhale. Cartwheel down. Low lunge. Lifting the leg up. Inhale. Standing splits to the front. So really more of a standing L here. Physically bringing the hand up to square the hips if you need. One breath in. Stay or exhale, Shiva squat. Deep bend in both legs. Wrap and tuck the left leg behind the right. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Hold. Maybe stay or hover one hand. Hover two. Stay or Shiva squat. Airplane torso. Lift and hold for three, two, one, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, you're gonna pull yourself up. Finding your Ekapada Tadasana, I'll turn to face you. So Ekapada Tadasana, stay, or exhale, find eagle. Full eagle this time, wrap the left leg over, wrap the right arm under. Maybe you find bare arms grabbing shoulders, or full eagle arms. Everything is squeezing to the midline, but at the same time, you're lifting elbows, pressing forearms away from your chin. Keep the eagle arms. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, cross the left foot in front of the right. The toes are in line. Stay, maybe this is enough. Or with the eagle arms, exhale, you start to fold forward. It doesn't matter how far you come here. Just giving your IT band a stretch. The arms still pull forward. Wherever you are, inhale, you rise. And exhale, shake it out. Inhale, full chair pose. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, high plank. Find your high plank, press back through the heels. Maybe stay, maybe drop to knees. We're gonna find scapular push-ups. So this is kind of like a cat-cow, just with the spine. You're allowing the core to be strong. So you're gonna be pressing and lowering the shoulders just a little bit, almost like an elevator for the heart. We'll find a couple of these. So gaze is down, lower, press between the shoulder blades. 
this is a fundamental movement in our arm balances. The strength of the scapula, the shoulder blades. Keep a subtle bend in the elbows to avoid locking out. Three, two, one. Down dog, inhale, three-legged dog will flow that left side. Exhale, knee to nose, you hold. Stay, or we find elevator. Exhale, lower half, hover. Lift half, lift full. Half, hover, half, lift, half, hover. Half, lift, half, hover. Half, lift one more, half, hover, half, lift three, two, one, step it through, movement, and then inhale, open up, warrior two, spiraling open, arms to a T, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, dancing warrior, inhale, lift, exhale, dancing warrior, catches the arms like you're pulling something down, and then press through the palm, inhale, Exhale, cactus, press. Hold, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, cartwheel down. Low lunge, inhale, gaze forward. And standing splits. Find your standing split for just a moment. Kick the leg, lift, inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat, deep bend, cross the legs. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva. Squat, hold, stay. Or hover one hand, hover both. Or follow me into airplane Shiva squat. Inhale, full standing splits. Exhale, you're gonna lift up. Ekapadavirasana, I'll turn to face you. Right leg high, stay or find your eagle, right leg up and over, right arm under. Notice if your hips are naturally pulling to one side or the other, do your best to square them forward, shoulders over hips the whole time. Every exhale, can you compress more? One more inhale. Exhale, all the breath out, squeeze. Eagle arm stay, inhale, ekapada. Exhale, right leg crosses over left, stay. Or exhale, hinging from hips, come forward as much as is comfortable. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, shake it out. Find yourself in, in uh, chair pose, inhale. Hands come to heart, exhale, you lower, slowly, controlled down, find a seat. All right, should be feeling nice and warm. We'll flow through our eight angle pose, one side then the other. So follow me when you're ready. Lifting up through the right leg, find this rock the baby, rack and forth. Opposite hand, wrap around, backpack. Again, stay at any point, hook the legs, flex the feet. Inhale to lift. Exhale, you kick and squeeze. This is like eagle legs. You're kicking out, hugging, hugging, hugging in. Rotate the top thigh down just a little bit to lift the hips higher. One more inhale. Exhale, lower. Beautiful work. Shake it out. Other side. Pulling the leg in, rock the baby. Backpack. Lift it up. Shifting back. Finding that cross, this is such an important part here. So take a moment to pause. Plant both hands, claw the mat with your fingers. Lift, exhale, press. Gaze is forward. So the heart is pulling through. For three, two, one lower. Come up. Give yourself a wrist stretch. Shake it out. Roll the shoulders forward and back, coming to a gentle seated position, either on your knees or cross leg. Roll it the other way. Good 
going to be turning the torso side to side very gently. And then coming facing forward. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, side, bend to the left. Left fingertips arch down. Right hand comes up, bend the knee. Bend the elbow only as much as feels comfortable. Gaze is up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, gentle side bend, other direction. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands come down to the thighs. Inhale, pull the heart through seated cow pose. Exhale, round and gaze in seated cat. Two more your pace. When you're ready, shift the hips to one side or the other. We're going to find deer pose, one of my all-time favorites. So the legs are going to come in. If this is too much on the knees, always stay in a traditional cross-legged position. Just have the legs out. So you're going to bend the left leg first. Bring it into your inner thigh, really pulling the knee or the ankle in. Then maybe stay. Or you can start to bend the right leg behind you. The heel is going to come back going to tuck behind you, kind of on the outside of your glute. You can stay, or maybe start to walk your hands forward. If it feels comfortable, you can come down to forearms. If you're lowered, inhale, come up. Exhale, finding a gentle twist, taking the right hand, placing it on the outside of the left thigh. Left fingers, steeple grip behind you. You lift. Exhale, gentle rotation. One more inhale. Exhale, open. Inhale through center. The left leg stays bent, the right leg straightens. Arms roll up. Exhale, you're going to plant the left hand behind the left hip. Inhale, sweep the arm forward, come up, lift the hips, press down through the right toes, lifting, lifting the heart. We're here for a couple breaths. This is a deep hip flexor stretch. One more inhale. Exhale, you lower. Switching out the legs now, bringing them forward, then moving the right leg in, and moving the left leg behind you. It'll be different one side to the other. Stay. Or come to palms or forearms. If you're lowered, come up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, find your gentle twist. Right hand or left hand comes to the outside of your right thigh. Steeple grip the fingers. Twist a little deeper every time you exhale. One more inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale through center, straighten the left leg. One breath in arms overhead. Exhale, plant the right hand behind the right hip. Inhale, sweep the arms down, half circle. You lift to come up. Fluid, mobile spine. Press the hips forward. Deep front body stretch. One more inhale. Hold, exhale. And then come down. Shift forward if you're not already. Scoot up on your mat if you need. Remove the muscle back behind you. And roll down. Walk the feet back. Hip width distance apart. Heels just in front of glutes. Exhale your breath. Inhale, bridge pose. This is a gentle bridge here, so I want your hips to lift just a little bit. Stay. Or maybe rock side to side just a little bit, like a swinging bridge. Hands can come to hips or be down, releasing the sacrum. One more inhale, exhale, lower. 
Inhale, hug knees to chest. Hold, exhale, pull everything out. Inhale, long body stretch. And exhale, final Shavasana. Maybe you keep your Ujjayi breaths a little bit longer. When you're ready to come out, allow the breath first to soften and then roll to one side or the other before you press yourself up. Yogis, I will leave you in your Shavasana. Thank you all so much for watching this little eight angle pose demo and flow. As always, it is an honor and a privilege to teach you. Namaste.